Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you. Depending on where you are watching from, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon to get our updates. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more updates. Martin Namdekano to appear in court on Tuesday, 13th September 2022. Uh, this is happening as his case has been brought forward. I was asked to tell IPOB lawyers to work on his defense, get ready for massive legal battle rather than just asking for bail and attracting another postponement. The concentration should be on a fierce legal battle rather than uh, focusing on the bail. Anambra State Government closes Winter's Garden Hotel over Olingo Party. When I say Olingo, you know what I mean. Uh, in order not to have another Sodom and Gomorrah in Anambra, the state government through the Ministry of Culture, Entertainment and Tourism has closed down Winter's Garden Hotels, Ifitoka, over the viral mm. Olingo Party that was allegedly held in the hotel. Hmm. Days ago, videos of party emerged online. It was on Twitter and everywhere where people were having Olingo. Hmm. Olingo. And while some people are watching and recording the Olingo styles, they were doing different styles of the Olingo. Since then, different reactions have thrilled the particular act and people urged the government of Professor Soludo to wait in and rescue the situation to avoid repeat of such immorality in the state capital. And it was alleged that the event happened on Saturday, 3rd of September. This is our Mba month. 2022 at Winter's Garden Hotels, like we said, Ifitoka. And this happens to be the permanent site of Nandiazikiwe Oka, Unizik. Meanwhile, the Student Union um, Government of Unizik have dissociated the entire student of Unizik from the such immorality. And they claim that the school is not in session and students are at home. And that is to say, anybody going to do such is on their own. They didn't go as a collective student of the school. So the union absolved UNIZIC student from the party at Winter's Garden, claiming that it is not a student's program. The management of Winter's Garden hotels also came out in response that the party never happened in their hotel. While UNIZIC SUG claimed the party actually happened at Winter's Garden, but the students of the UNIZIC were not involved, the hotel management insisted that such never happened in their facility. And, you know, uh, we would have shared some video to you uh, because of uh, the policy of uh, the Facebook and the YouTube. Uh, we can't share the video here. Anambra State Government has uh, finally uh, commenced investigation and our first step is to temporarily close the hotel where the event took place. Uh, this is coming from Anambra Current News. Honor to whom honor is due and commendations to whom commendation is due as well. I used to be a science student during my secondary school days and uh, from SS1 I was uh, met to go through a book written by one of our own. If you did physics like I did in secondary school, I learned that this is Professor P. N. O. K. K. If you're familiar, with, uh, if you did physics, you'll be familiar with Professor P. N. O. K. K., the author of a uh, certain of the physics textbook that we read. And according to reports, he will turn 79 by October 15. This is one of the heroes of Nigeria, not the criminals in leadership. Uh, please say something nice to the great man. Let's celebrate an educational icon, someone who has impacted positively and not uh, the looters. Continuing on Peter B's achievement as a governor, uh, yesterday we read out his performances regards uh, building human capital uh, by making sure we have the right education and skill acquisition center in the state. Now you need to hear other parts of uh, what Peter B did as a governor. Mr. Peter B, in his effort to transform Anambra State from consumption to production um, economy, helped IVM, Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing, Innocent Motors, establish the first ever vehicle manufacturing plant in Anambra State. Obi helped Chrysora establish a manufacturing plant in Onisha, Nigeria. Obi brought to bear his economic acumen when he helped the world's biggest brewer, AB Inbev, 
Then uh, Sam Miller Brewery to uh, site their plant in Onesha, Nigeria. And later in three other locations. It will be brought to Health Pharmaceutical, about the biggest maker of drips and other health medicals. It will be empowered Paul B. Construction Company, a local engineer in Anambra, to become a big national player and heavy equipment manager. It will be attracted rock paint to manufacture in Anambra. It will be empowered in Bois Construction Company, a local operator today, is all over Nigeria. We build stock exchange in our nation. You know what that means if you are a player in the nation's capital market. We built Agro Lake Hotel, a massive uh, four star hotel. Now, I would like to share with us a feeling from two major political parties in Nigeria that has kept us in this condition. Of course, everyone knows they fail, even though they are structurally at advantage. And someone from their camp wrote, he said, 80% of the accredited voters in the North do not know who is called Pitobi. Most of them think he is a popular super egos player or a Nollywood actor. He's known in Lagos, yes, but in other Southwest states, they think he's a spare part dealer. The person rounded up, uh, the author of this uh, write up, rounded up by saying, Go and verify. This is a popular P2B slogan, and uh, he said it mockingly. Well, I just um, want to use this opportunity to tell obedience and P2B supporters to work harder. Uh, certain places need to be covered. Many Nigerians are indeed tired and fed up of APC and PDB, but the problem is that they are yet to be properly acquainted with uh, of where to go which political party to follow that has better plans for them. So Labour Party should increase their awareness. They should do well to you know, let people know that this party exists. I will round up by looking at another punch at Labour Party. Uh, one Gary Alemi wrote, he said, Tinubu didn't uh, tell a story of, I don't have a shoe, I'm an orphan, or I am here. Um, I'm a trader in Abba. He was so specific about himself, his track record, and what he stands for. So tell your candidate not to bore us with emotional rhetorics. Uh, this person is this particular message is directed at OP. Well, um, the Tinubu really talk about all that he has done. <laughs> but OP is bold to say, I did this, I did this, go and check my record, go and verify. He's not afraid of you verifying. But the case of Tinubu, anyway, we're not here to run people down. But um, look at these people properly. I'm not even going to tell you to vote this or this, but check the records of those who you want to vote. All our aspirations are for a good leadership. We don't want treasury looters to have Nigeria again. Nigeria has been looted enough. If possible, we want to take back from them what they have taken from us. And we don't want people who will impose themselves on us and still, you know, sell us. Study Lagos State and you understand what I'm saying. Anyway, viewers, this is where we'll round up on this uh, segment. I remain your host, Azoka Ozo OJ. Bye-bye for now.